I'm sitting down with senior ballistician Jaden Quinlan, and we're talking about our patented drag variability reduction technology, or DVRT. Now, Jaden, what is that technology? How did you guys design this technology to control drag variability, and who does it benefit? Well, as you said, drag variability reduction technology, or, or DVRT, is essentially the, the conclusion of a very long testing and R&D and development process um, that is now patented uh, that was, it was fixing a problem. Um, the problem we saw was that, that the drag variability piece of long distance shooting is becoming more and more important. And that's because the, the quality of our equipment and our capabilities is so good that very small little misses matter in a way now that they would have been overlooked 10 or 20 years ago. And so in digging into those fine details, we started to find that there was certain attributes of the bullet, um, mainly the, uh, after, after years of, of research, we found out it was the Miplat shape and diameter and the ratio of that to the bullet's diameter, there's a, there's a, a sweet spot there okay. where you, you get very good net or total drag um, so this would be, in simple terms, BC. You get high BC, which we all want. Um, but you get very consistent results, shot to shot to shot. And so the drag variability reduction technology is all of that lumped into one term, one discovery, you know, kind of one patented implementation in that that feature, that ratio of the, of the Miplat to the diameter and the shape of that gives you very consistent drag shot to shot. And so those, those shots that matter today at the level of performance that we see and participate in are now made easier because of this technology. Essentially, the, those high and low shots that couldn't really be accounted for. You know, the flyer. The, the flyer, right? We, we gave it that term because we, we had no defining metric to tie it to. We didn't know where it was coming from. A shot went somewhere that we didn't expect it to, and we didn't know why, and so we kind of named it a flyer. And, that, and that's the shooting community at large, right? Uh, not us specifically, but that flyer was so problematic because it was a mystery for so long. But in, in the modern day, that problem is, is more measurable because when you get that flyer, that's less points at a match. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a level of performance that is measurably uh, bringing you down the leaderboard. And so if we can find that and fix it and rule it out to where you don't have to deal with it anymore and it isn't some mystical phenomenon, we can understand it now, we can, we can tie data to when it happens or why it happens, um, that's what drag variability reduction technology is. Awesome, so it sounds like anybody who wants to shoot smaller groups at longer ranges is gonna benefit from this technology, but who specifically really benefits from this? Well, you're not going to see drag variability become a problem for you as a shooter until you're shooting targets that are beyond about a half a second time of flight. So this is generally going to be, you know, five, six, seven hundred yards with most cartridges that we're shooting long range with. Um, this isn't necessarily applicable to the IPSC pistol shooter or the three gun shooter. However, drag variability is still present in all of those examples. The time it takes for your bullet to get to the target is what really makes it show itself or not okay. from a point of impact standpoint. And we all know that in long range shooting, it takes that bullet a whole lot longer to get to the target than it does a 25 yard pistol shot. And so where you'll mainly see this and the people that it will benefit the most are the guys that are out there shooting, you know, 500 yards and beyond. And the farther you shoot, the longer it takes the bullet to get to the target from a time standpoint, the more... Uh, performance benefit you will get from this technology. Awesome. Well, we're excited about this new patented technology. For more information on drag variability reduction technology, check out episode number 127 of the Hornady podcast or our website, hornady.com.